The Vistula, Polish, Wisła, v -I -S -W -A, German, Weichsel, Vaxel, is the longest and largest river in Poland and the ninth longest river in Europe, at 1,047 km 651 miles in length. The drainage basin area of the Vistula is 193,960 square kilometers, 74,890 square miles, of which 168,868 square kilometers, 65,200 square miles lies within Poland, 54% of its land area. The remainder is in Belarus, Ukraine and Slovakia. The Vistula rises at Barania Gora in the south of Poland, 1,220 meters (4,000 feet) above sea level in the Silesian Beskids, western part of Carpathian Mountains, where it begins with the White Little Vistula (Biała and the Black Little Vistula (Zarna It then continues to flow over the vast Polish plains, passing several large Polish cities along its way, including Krakow, Sandomierz, Warsaw. Plock, Wolaklawek, Torin, Bydgoszcz, Suisi, Grzegiądz, Tczew and Gdańsk. It empties into the Vistula Lagoon or directly into the Gdańsk Bay of the Baltic Sea with a delta and several branches Linuka, Perskop, Smiala Wisła, Martwa Wisła, Nagat and Skirpawa. Topic etymology The name was first recorded by Pomponius Mela in AD 40 and by Pliny in AD 77 in his Natural History. Mela names the river Vistula 3.33, Pliny uses Vistula 4.81, 4.97, 4.100. The root of the name Vistula is Indo-European asterisk u, ice to ooze, flow slowly cf. Sanskrit avicen, avicen, they flowed, Old Norse vesa slime and is found in many European river names e.g. vaser, vizenta. The diminutive endings ila, ula, were used in many Indo-European languages, including Latin see Ursula. In writing about the Vistula River and its peoples, Ptolemy uses the Greek spelling Vistula. Other ancient sources spell it Istula. Ammianus Marcellinus refers to the Basula book 22, note the absence of the T. Jordanes Getica 5 and 17 uses Vizkla, while the Anglo-Saxon poem Widsith refers to it as the Wistla. 12th century Polish chronicler Winston T. Kadlebeck Latinized the river name as Vandalus, a form presumably influenced by Lithuanian Vanduo water, while Jan de Lugos in his Analis Seu Chronicae Incliti Regna Poloniae called the Vistula white waters, Alba Aqua, perhaps referring to the white little Vistula Biala Wyzelka, a nationibus orientalibus Polanis vicinis, ob aquae candorum Alba Aqua, nominator, over over the course of history the river possessed several names in different languages such as Low German, Wiel, Dutch, Wyasl, Yiddish, Wyasl Yiddish pronunciation, Vajsl, and Russian. Sources The Vistula River is formed in the southern Silesian voivodeship of Poland from two sources, the Zarna Black. Wyzelka at an altitude of 1,107 meters (3,632 feet) and the Biala White Wyzelka at an altitude of 1,080 meters (3,540 feet) on the western slope of Barania Gora in the Silesian Beskids. Topic: <laughs> Geography. <laughs> The Vistula can be divided into three parts, upper, from its sources to Sandomirs, center, from Sandomirs to the confluences with the Nauru and Bug, and bottom, from the confluence with the Nauru to the sea. The Vistula River Basin covers 194,424 square kilometers, 75,068 square miles in Poland, 168,700 square kilometers, 65,135 square miles. Its average altitude is 270 meters, 886 feet above sea level. In addition, the majority of its river basin, 55%, is 100 to 200 meters above sea level. Over three quarters of the river basin ranges from 100 to 300 meters, 328 to 984 feet, in altitude. The highest point of the river basin is at 2,655 meters, 8,711 feet, Gerlach Peak in the Tatra Mountains. One of the features of the river basin of the Vistula is its asymmetry. In great measure resulting from the tilting direction of the Central European lowland toward the northwest, the direction of the flow of glacial waters, and considerable predisposition of its older base. 
The asymmetry of the river basin right -hand to left -hand side is 73 to 27%. The most recent glaciation of the Pleistocene epoch, which ended around 10,000 BC, is called the Vistulian glaciation or Weichselian glaciation in regard to north-central Europe. <laughs> Major cities and towns along Vistula tributaries <laughs> Delta of the Vistula River The river forms a wide delta called the Zulawi Wislane. The delta currently starts around Biala Gora near Sz Tum, about 50 kilometres from the mouth, where the river Nagat splits off. The Nagat also starts separately as a river named on this map Alt -Nagat, Old Nagat south of Marienwerder, but further north it picks up water from a crosslink with the Vistula, and becomes a distributary of the Vistula, flowing away northeast into the Vistula Lagoon Polish, Zulu Vislani, with a small delta. The Nagat formed part of the border between East Prussia and interwar Poland. The other channel of the Vistula below this point is sometimes called the Linuka. Various causes rain, snow melt, ice jams, have caused many severe floods of the Vistula down the centuries. Land in the area was sometimes depopulated by severe flooding, and later had to be resettled. See Figure 7, on page 812 at 1 for a reconstruction map of the delta area as it was around year 1300. Note much more water in the area, and the west end of the Vistula Lagoon Hof was bigger, and nearly continuous with the Drowsen Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Channel changes As with some aggrading rivers, the lower Vistula has been subject to channel changing. Near the sea, the Vistula was diverted sideways by coastal sand as a result of longshore drift and split into an east-flowing branch the Elbing Elblag Vistula, Elbinger Weichsel, Skirpawa, flows into the Vistula Lagoon, now for flood control closed to the east with a lock and a west-flowing branch the Danzig Gdansk Vistula, Shigalini branch, reached the sea in Danzig. Until the 14th century, the Elbing Vistula was the bigger. 1242, the Stara Viswa old Vistula cut an outlet to the sea through the barrier near Makoshevo where the Vistula cut is now, this gap later closed or was closed. 1371, the Danzig Vistula became bigger than the Elbing Vistula. 1540 and 1543, huge floods depopulated the Delta area, and afterwards the land was resettled by Mennonite Germans, and economic development followed. 1553, by a plan made by Danzig and Elbing, a channel was dug between the Vistula and the Nagat at Weissenberg now Gora. As a result, most of the Vistula water flowed down the Nagat, which hindered navigation at Danzig by lowering the water level. This caused a long dispute about the river water between Danzig on one side and Elbing and Marienburg on the other side. 1611, Great Flood near Marienburg. 1613, as a result, a royal decree was issued to build a dam at Biala Gora, diverting only a third of the Vistula's water into the Nagat. 1618 to 1648, Thirty Years' War, and 1655 to 1661, Second Northern War. In wars involving Sweden, the river works at Biala Gora were destroyed or damaged. 1724, until this year, the Vistula in Danzig flowed to sea straight through the east end of the Westerplatte. In this year it started to turn west to flow south of the Westerplatte. 1747, in a big flood the Vistula broke into the Nagat. 1830 and later, cleaning the riverbed, eliminating meanders, rerouting some tributaries, e.g. the Rudawa. 1840, a flood caused by an ice jam formed a shortcut from the Danzig Vistula to the sea shown as Dirchbrick v. J1840 breakthrough of year 1840, on this map, a few miles east of and bypassing Danzig, now called the Smiala Viswa or Viswa Smiala, Bold Vistula. The Vistula channel west of this lost much of its flow and was known thereafter as the Dead Vistula German, Tote Weichsel, Polish, Martwa Viswa. 1848 or after, in flood control works the link from the Vistula to the Nagat was moved 4 km miles downstream. In the end, the Nagat got a fifth of the flow of the Vistula. 1888, a large flood in the Vistula Delta. 
1889–1895, as a result, to try to stop recurrent flooding on the lower Vistula, the Prussian government constructed an artificial channel about 12 kilometres east of Danzig now named Gdansk, known as the Vistula Cut German, Weichseldurchstich, Polish, Perskop Wisley ref map from the old fork of the Danzig and Elbing Vistulas straight north to the Baltic Sea, diverting much of the Vistula's flow. One main purpose was to let the river easily flush floating ice into the sea to avoid ice jam floods downstream. This is now the main mouth of the Vistula, bypassing Gdansk. Google Earth shows only a narrow new connection with water control works with the old westward channel. The name Dead Vistula was extended to mean all of the old channel of the Vistula below this diversion. 1914–1917, the Elbing Vistula and the Dead Vistula were cut off from the new main river course with the help of locks. 1944–1945, retreating World War II German forces destroyed many flood prevention works in the area. After the war, Poland needed over ten years to repair the damage. Tributaries. <inaudible> 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 List of right and left tributaries with a nearby city, from source to mouth. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate change and the flooding of the Vistula Delta. According to flood studies carried out by Professor Zbigniew Prushik, who is the co-author of the scientific paper Implications of SLR and further studies carried out by scientists attending Poland's final International Astra Conference, and predictions stated by climate scientists at the Climate Change Pre-Summit in Copenhagen, it is highly likely most of the Vistula Delta region which is below sea level will be flooded due to the sea level rise caused by climate change by 2100. Geological history The history of the river Vistula and its valley spans over two million years. The river is connected to the geological period called the Quaternary, in which distinct cooling of the climate took place. In the last million years, an ice sheet entered the area of Poland eight times, bringing along with it changes of reaches of the river. In warmer periods, when the ice sheet retreated, the Vistula deepened and widened its valley. The river took its present shape within the last 14,000 years, after the complete recession of the Scandinavian ice sheet from the area. At present, along with the Vistula Valley, erosion of the banks and collecting of new deposits are still occurring. As the principal river of Poland, the Vistula is also in the center of Europe. Three principal geographical and geological land masses of the continent meet in its river basin, the lowland Eastern Europe a shield the area of uplands and low mountains of Western Europe, and the alpine zone of high mountains to which the Alps and the Carpathians belong. The Vistula begins in the Carpathian Mountains. The run and character of the river were shaped by ice sheets flowing down from the Scandinavian peninsula. The last ice sheet entered the area of Poland about 20,000 years ago. During periods of warmer weather, the ancient Vistula Pra Viswa, searched for the shortest way to the sea. Thousands of years ago it flowed into the North Sea somewhere at the latitude of contemporary Scotland. The climate of the Vistula Valley, its plants, animals, and its very character changed considerably during the process of glacial retreat. <laughs> Navigation The Vistula is navigable from the Baltic Sea to Bydgoszcz where the Bydgoszcz Canal joins the river. The Vistula can accommodate modest river vessels of CEMT Class II. Farther upstream the river depth lessens. Although a project was undertaken to increase the traffic carrying capacity of the river upstream of Warsaw by building a number of locks in and around Krakow, this project was not extended further, so that navigability of the Vistula remains limited. The potential of the river would increase considerably if a restoration of the east-west connection via the Nauru Bug Mukovets Pripyat Dnieper waterways were considered. The shifting economic importance of parts of Europe may make this option more likely. <laughs> <laughs> Historical relevance Large parts of the Vistula Basin were occupied by the Iron Age Lusatian and Przeworsk cultures in the first millennium BC. 
Genetic analysis indicates that there has been an unbroken genetic continuity of the inhabitants over the last 3,500 years. The Vistula Basin along with the lands of the Rhine, Danube, Elbe, and Oder came to be called Magna Germania by Roman authors of the 1st century AD. This doesn't imply that the inhabitants were «Germanic» in the modern sense of the term. Tacitus, when describing the Venethi, Peucini and Feni, wrote that he was not sure if he should call them Germans, since they had settlements and they fought on foot, or rather Sarmatians since they have some similar customs to them. Ptolemy, in the 2nd century AD, would describe the Vistula as the border between Germania and Sarmatia. The Vistula River used to be connected to the Dnieper River, and thence to the Black Sea via the Augusto Canal, a technological marvel with numerous sluices contributing to its aesthetic appeal. It was the first waterway in Central Europe to provide a direct link between the two major rivers, the Vistula and the Neman. It provided a link with the Black Sea to the south through the Aginski Canal, Dnieper River, Berezina Canal, and Davina River. The Baltic Sea Vistula Dnieper Black Sea route with its rivers was one of the most ancient trade routes, the Amber Road, on which amber and other items were traded from northern Europe to Greece, Asia, Egypt, and elsewhere. The Vistula estuary was settled by Slavs in the 7th and 8th century. Based on archaeological and linguistic findings, it has been postulated that these settlers moved northward along the Vistula River. This however contradicts another hypothesis supported by some researchers saying the Valeti moved westward from the Vistula Delta. A number of West Slavic Polish tribes formed small dominions beginning in the 8th century, some of which coalesced later into larger ones. Among the tribes listed in the Bavarian geographer's 9th century document was the Vistulans in southern Poland. Kraków and Wyslica were their main centers. Many Polish legends are connected with the Vistula and the beginnings of Polish statehood. One of the most enduring is that about Princess Wanda Ko Ni Chila Nima who rejected the German. According to the most popular variant, popularized by the 15th century historian Jan de Lugos, Wanda, daughter of King Krak, became queen of the Poles upon her father's death. She refused to marry a German prince Reitiger, Rudiger, who took offense and invaded Poland, but was repelled. Wanda however committed suicide, drowning in the Vistula River, to ensure he would not invade her country again. Main trading artery For hundreds of years the river was one of the main trading arteries of Poland, and the castles that line its banks were highly prized possessions. Salt, timber, grain, and building stone were among goods shipped via that route between the 10th and 13th centuries. In the 14th century the Lower Vistula was controlled by the Teutonic Knights Order, invited in 1226 by Conrad I of Masovia to help him fight the pagan Prussians on the border of his lands. In 1308 the Teutonic Knights captured the Gdansk castle and murdered the population. Since then the event is known as the Gdansk Slaughter. The order had inherited new from Sambor II, thus gaining a foothold on the left bank of the Vistula. Many granaries and storehouses, built in the 14th century, line the banks of the Vistula. In the 15th century the city of Gdansk gained great importance in the Baltic area as a center of merchants and trade and as a port city. At this time the surrounding lands were inhabited by Pomeranians, but Gdansk soon became a starting point for German settlement of the largely fallow Vistulan country. Before its peak in 1618, trade increased by a factor of 20 from 1491. This factor is evident when looking at the tonnage of grain traded on the river in the key years of, 1491 to 14,000, 1537 to 23,000, 1563 to 150,000, 1618 to 310,000. In the 16th century most of the grain exported was leaving Poland through Gdansk, which because of its location at the end of the Vistula and its tributary waterway and of its Baltic seaport trade role became the wealthiest, most highly developed, and by far the largest centre of crafts and manufacturing, and the most autonomous of the Polish cities. Other towns were negatively affected by Gdansk's near monopoly in foreign trade. During the reign of Stephen Batory Poland ruled two main Baltic sea ports, Gdansk controlling the Vistula River trade and Riga controlling the western Davina trade. Both cities were among the largest in the country. Around 70% the exports from Gdansk were of grain. Grain was also the largest export commodity of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. 
The volume of traded grain can be considered a good and well-measured proxy for the economic growth of the Commonwealth. The owner of a fullwork usually signed a contract with the merchants of Gdansk, who controlled 80% of this inland trade, to ship the grain to Gdansk. Many rivers in the Commonwealth were used for shipping, including the Vistula, which had a relatively well-developed infrastructure, with river ports and granaries. Most river shipping traveled north, with southward transport being less profitable, and barges and rafts often being sold off in Gdansk for lumber. In order to arrest recurrent flooding on the lower Vistula, the Prussian government in 1889–95 constructed an artificial channel about 12 kilometers 7 miles east of Gdansk German name, Danzig, known as the Vistula Cut German, Weichseldurchstich, Polish, Perskop Wisley, that acted as a huge sluice, diverting much of the Vistula flow directly into the Baltic. As a result, the historic Vistula channel through Gdansk lost much of its flow and was known thereafter as the Dead Vistula German, Tote Weichsel, Polish, Martwa Wiswa. German states acquired complete control of the region in 1795–1812 see, Partitions of Poland, as well as during the World Wars, in 1914–1918 and 1939–1945. From 1867 to 1917, the Russian Tsarist administration called the Kingdom of Poland the Vistula Land after the collapse of the January Uprising 1863 Almost 75% of the territory of interbellum Poland was drained northward into the Baltic Sea by the Vistula total area of drainage basin of the Vistula within boundaries of the Second Polish Republic was 180,300 square kilometers, the Niemann 51,600 square kilometers, the Odra 46,700 square kilometers and the Dagawa 10,400 square kilometers. In 1920 the decisive battle of the Polish-Soviet War Battle of Warsaw sometimes referred to as the miracle at the Vistula, was fought as Red Army forces commanded by Mikhail Tukhachevsky approached the Polish capital of Warsaw and nearby Modlin fortress situated on the mouth of the Vistula. <laughs> <laughs> World War II The Polish September campaign included battles over control of the mouth of the Vistula, and of the city of Gdansk, close to the river delta. During the invasion of Poland 1939, after the initial battles in Pomerelia, the remains of the Polish army of Pomerania withdrew to the southern bank of the Vistula. After defending Torin for several days, the army withdrew further south under pressure of the overall strained strategic situation, and took part in the main battle of Bazura. The Auschwitz complex of concentration camps was at the confluence of the Vistula and the Sola rivers. Ashes of murdered Auschwitz victims were dumped into the river. During World War II, prisoners of war from the Nazi Stalag XXB camp were assigned to cut ice blocks from the river Vistula. The ice would then be transported by truck to the local beer houses. The 1944 Warsaw Uprising was planned with the expectation that the Soviet forces, who had arrived in the course of their offensive and were waiting on the other side of the Vistula River in full force, would help in the battle for Warsaw. However, the Soviets let down the Poles, stopping their advance at the Vistula and branding the insurgents as criminals in radio broadcasts. In early 1945, the Red Army crossed the Vistula and drove the German Wehrmacht back past the Oder River in Germany in the Vistula Oder Offensive. See also Rivers of Poland Geography of Poland Vistula Lagoon Vistula Spit